big environmentalist types. I mean, Portland's kind of known for that, known for being green, you could say. So you might have already heard about the city denying what's called the land use compatibility statement for Zenith Oil for a terminal. The company needed Portland to sign off on it in order to expand its operations. Now, you might remember this too, that the city previously denied Zenith a permit to expand a few years ago when they wanted to build some new crude oil pipelines. So this is another big blow for the company. Now, we know why environmentalists oppose oil trains and terminals. Fossil fuels aren't exactly great for the environment. So we've seen what can happen also when an oil train derails. I mean, remember in 2016 when 96 train cars derailed in the gorge and tens of thousands of gallons of oil spilled. But some people are also worried about the health risks of, on the type of oil at Zenith and the type of oil that they carry. In 2019, then Oregonian reporter Gordon Friedman, who now works for the city of Portland, spoke to Laurel Porter about it on Straight Talk. Those crude oils are, are different than what we might think of as the stuff that gushes out of wells in the ground in that it's sands, basically, and it has these sand particles that can provide extra environmental hazards, but also they have an inhalation hazard. So if the oil will, were to spill, it, the, it contains um, cancer-causing chemical called benzene. It contains a chemical called um, hydrogen sulfide that can cause respiratory problems. There's been no reported oil spill while um, that company has owned the facility in Northwest Portland. Um, but it, it's really just a, a matter of it being in black and white that this oil is different than other kinds of oil. And um, the company actually has to provide state regulators with what are called safety data sheets that are technical documents detailing the properties of the oil. And um, the data sheets they provided for the diluted bitumen that they handle show that not only is it highly flammable, it's actually, it's very toxic. It provide, it's a respiratory hazard. Uh, it's an, uh, an inhalant hazard. Um, and other kinds of oils don't carry that same type of risk. Now, Zenith released a statement this morning saying, we are very disappointed in the city's decision, which is particularly puzzling. As we know, our plan to transition to a fully renewable energy facility is very much in line with the values and goals reflected in the city of Portland's 2035 comprehensive plan. But the city made it pretty clear their problem with Zenith's current use of fossil fuels is not with the it's it's not with that. It's with the company's uh, not with the company's future renewable energy goals. I got that sentence out eventually.